the title of the experiment is Unsymmetrical Bending of Beam. The aim is to determine the position of the principal axis of the given Z section. You can see the picture. The picture shows the experimental arrangement of a thin walled Z section. You can see the thin walled Z section, okay, whose thickness is constant. The one end is fixed, so I can call it as a cantilever beam, thin walled Z section cantilever beam. <clears throat> so we are going to determine the position of the neutral axis for the given Z section when it is subjected to vertical loading as well as the horizontal loading. So this is the setup. You could see here two dial gauges. Okay. So this dial gauge will give you the vertical displacement. The external loads are applied. Simultaneously, this dial gauge will give you the horizontal displacement. Okay. So now let us, so this, uh, after this explanation, the small video will be attached in which you can see the demonstration of the experiment, just a demonstration, how the weights are being added, how the readings are being noted. Okay. So if you're not followed the same readings that is uh, available in the, or uh, that is given in the dial gauge. Okay. We're just for demonstration purpose, that video is attached. Now, here the weights will be added like 1.2 kg here, 1.2 kg here. So total vertical uh, load acting on the beam will be 2.4 plus the weight of the hooks is 100 gram. So the total vertical load acting on the beam will be 2.5 kg. Once it is loaded, this dial gauge, needle of the dial gauge gets deflected, gets deflected. Okay, so before applying the loads, before applying any load, we have to ensure that the needle of the dial gauge is in zero position, very, very important. Okay, so then you apply the load of 1.2 kg here, 1.2 kg here, plus under gram hooks weight. So totally 2.5 kg. Note down the horizontal displacement U and vertical displacement in your table column. In your table column. Now you add a weight of 300 gram here, which produces a horizontal load, which this 300 gram produces or acts a load in a horizontal direction and then note down the readings, the horizontal displacement as well as vertical displacement, keeping the vertical load 2.5 kg constant throughout your experiment. Then you add another 0.3 kg, note down the horizontal displacement, vertical displacement. So like this, we have to repeat our experiment at least 10 times to get the 10 readings to obtain our uh, or to draw any uh, graph, whatever it is. Okay, so this is the apparatus required, and uh, this is the dimension. So I think the alignment changed. Uh, let me correct it. Okay, you can see this the geometrical dimensions. So the procedure, whatever I've explained to you, vertical load remains constant 2.5, and uh, the longer hook 0.3 kg we have to add till we reach 3 kg. Okay, we have to note down the U readings, V readings, that is horizontal and vertical displacement. WH represents the horizontal load, WV represents the vertical load, which remains constant throughout our experiments. Okay. So these are the uh, this is the table column showing readings. This is the WH the beginning, WH is zero, only vertical load we are applying. For that, you get horizontal displacement, vertical displacement. Then we are adding, adding 0.3 kg, then 0 0.6, 0 0.9. So throughout the experiment, vertical load WV is 2.5 kg remains constant. So once these two tableau columns are obtained, WH by WV, create another tableau column. Then you create another tableau column, finding U by V. Then we have to plot this U by V and WH by WV in a graph. In a graph. So these are the points added. And this straight line is generated with the help of Excel software itself. And this is the 45 degree line. Okay, this is a 45 degree line. So what we have to find, uh, I mean, the graphical, 
from this graph is this straight line, the intersection of this straight line and this uh, 45 degree line from the origin and this horizontal distance we have to find out. This horizontal distance we have to find out, which is nothing but u by v. So that horizontal distance is nothing but u by v 1.23, 1.23. So experimentally, how to find the, or the formula to find the position of the principal plane is theta p is equal to tan inverse of v by u, tan inverse of v by u. Okay. So now we are getting u by v. So theta p is equal to tan inverse of v by u is equal to 1 by u by p. So we get uh, theta to be 39.11 degree, 39.11 degree. And this is a theoretical formula to obtain the position of the principal axis for the given z section by finding the uh, centroidal moment of inertia, area moment of inertia, Ixx, Iyy, and Ixy. So theoretically, we get the value to be theta to be 34.54. So this is a theoretical value and this is the experimental value. So this straight line uh, or trend line, which we obtained directly from the Excel software, Excel software. Manually, if you plot these points on a graph sheet, what we do is we used to uh, neglect few points which are not uh, coming in a straight line. So that also I did here. I have removed a few points intentionally Intentionally, I removed a few points. Uh, then I plotted the same the same uh, readings that we are considered. Okay, so here there are many readings. Okay, some eleven readings. I have removed few readings so that so that the generated graph itself will form like a straight line. Generated graph itself. Then from this, I have generated a trend line so that it extends and meets with the forty five degree line. And that value is coming out to be 1.48. So if I take a tan inverse of this, okay, so I'm getting uh, here I have given u by v is 1.48, tan inverse is 34.05 degree, 34.05 degree. So experimentally, 34.05 uh, degree is the location of the principal plane, and uh, theoretically 34.54 degree. This is the video of the experiment, just a demonstration purpose, how the loads are being added. You can see we are ensuring zero position for both the dial gauges, a cantilever, Z section beam. We are adding 1.2 kg on either side. And weight of the books is under gram, so total vertical weight is uh, 2.5 kg. So now we have to note down the the horizontal displacement from this dial gauge U. Then from this dial gauge we have to note down the vertical displacement. Okay. So we are following these readings in our calculation. Okay. This is the vertical load. Sorry. We are adding the load vertically, but this load will cause a horizontal load to act on the beam. That is 300 gram. Okay, U measurement, V measurement. Again, another 0.3 kg. The total is 0.6 kg is acting. Okay, again, you note of the measurement, U displacement, V displacement. Note that we are not following these values in our calculation. The vertical load 2.5 kg remains the same throughout our experiment. So keep on adding 0 0.3, 0 0.3 kg loads on the longer hook. At least you take 10 readings to make a plot between WH by WB and U by V.
Thank you.